Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sister here with a video here today bringing you guys a After Effects tutorial to create your own cool overlay. This, gonna, this time we're going to be doing a transparent version of the whole, I guess, I guess we're kind of doing like a little stream sort of, uh, I guess, revamp or, or quality or production thing because essentially you guys really asked to do a more of an overlay, something that could be transparent and how to make it change colors and how to actually animate the saber on something like an overlay. So hopefully right now at this moment while I'm speaking, you can see an overlay around me and actually moving and changing colors, just doing this little cool saber effect that we did last week. And the overlay that I actually have created in today's video that you guys are seeing currently is actually a video that I did about three weeks ago. Um, so you guys wanna check that thing out. That's most definitely like something you can check out to get a really cool, nice, clean looking, sleek overlay. That's what it's called, I believe. And so yeah, once you have that, the only thing you have to do is basically kind of make sure you have the project. Make sure you guys have it saved and uh, named. I'm going to quickly, right after I'm done with this intro, just show you guys, jump into Photoshop really quickly and just show you guys how to actually kind of just name everything and make sure it's all good to go. And essentially, it's very, very simple. It's, an, it's, it's just a really cool little, I guess, production thing. So, yep, you guys asked for it, and here it is. So, if you guys enjoyed, 200 likes on the video, you can see it down below, which will also be the PSD. Uh, usually it's the PSD, but this time the AI file of the actual project. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump into Photoshop really quickly just to show you guys really quick what I meant in, uh, I guess, naming it all. So that way you can actually get this thing going the correct way and it's way easier when you do it this way, I promise, okay? Let's just jump in. All right, guys, now I jumped in inside Photoshop really quickly. So as a matter of fact, I forgot to say that you guys, of course, hit 200 likes on that video pre previously, and that has been up the actual project files. So if you guys want to actually get my, uh, I guess, rendition or how I created my project in that video, you guys can actually download this basically the same exact thing that I have currently looking at. Um, that I have currently looking at, that I am currently looking at. Um, but you, of course, have to change your name and stuff like that, and the logo and whatnot. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you actually do it yourself. That way it doesn't look exactly the same as mine. But, okay, so this is what I'm referring to, right? So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the actual project files from Photoshop and we're going to dump it right into Illustrator. So it's going to look something around like this. If I can just get, like, you can see the text files here. So I have all separated the text, this uh, the circle on the top right, um, the left and the uh, right light. So you can see those. Those are all toggled. And all those is basically done is by just kind of separating them. So you want to make sure you find out what you want. So for me, I'm going to say first off is this stuff here, right? Now, this stuff here already have it grouped up together. I can just literally merge together as a layer. But I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out right here, though. I'm just going to use the rectangle marquee tool and cut out my text here. Now, I'm pretty sure there's other ways of doing this. But personally, this is the way that I've done it. And it worked for me. And I don't find any other reason why not to. Uh, this is the top right circle, by the way. Why not to just do it this way? Just like so, right? So you have now the text separate and now in a, the top right circle thing separate as well. So what I'm gonna do now is open this group here and what's in here? Let's see, what's this? I can't tell what this is. Oh, that's the uh, the darken for that. So that's that, okay. And this is the, okay, so I can merge this together. This is the right light. And then I guess this is the left. <laughs> when I mean by left light, it was those three little cool little uh, vents we call them. I can call them vents, but I just call them lights. So I'm going to merge that group together as well by Control E, right? And then I have this group here, which is basically the background. That's what this is connected to as well. So I can just drag this above here and then Control click on both these and merge those two together as well. And then this is now the background. So basically anything else, I can just take this out of the group, by the way. I'm going to take that out of a group, delete the group there. This is just another thing that I don't need. And there we go. So now we have our text separate. We have our top right circle separate. Uh, separate. However, we have to fix this here. So we got to quickly make sure that this is cut out perfectly. So we need a circle. And we just need to cut a circle out right there so it's empty in that middle spot. Perfect. Sweet. So now that we got that, we are literally good to go. So essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to File, Save As. And I'll save it on my desktop. We're going to just save it as Tutorial Overlay. Press Save. And if I just jump into After Effects, let's just get uh, our project files here. We're going to right click and we're going to go ahead and do Import File. And now I'm going to quickly import the tutorial overlay PSD. Import it. Cool. Now, the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to do composition and retain layer sizes because I'm already in a composition of 1920 by 1080p. Um, so this is all good. Editable layers, make sure you don't do merge layers into a footage. This is perfectly fine in the settings. I believe yours is gonna be automatically put on footage on its own. Just make sure you guys put composition and retain layer sizes. For me, that's what worked, and it's just, just press okay. And once you press okay, all you have to do is just double click on that layer right here. This is a composition itself. Double click on it, and you will see right away that it's all ready to go. So for one, the background here should just go. We have a transparent overlay, right? Yeah, so this is the background. We don't want that. So by the way, just to check if you have it on transparent for sure, this button right here, 
<clears throat> toggles your transparency grid and it tells you whether or not it's actually transparent. So even though it's transparent right, transparent right now, if I just were to turn it off, it'll be a black background, right? So essentially you guys wanna make sure that it's transparent because if not, that means your background layer that you had in Photoshop is still there, right? So you guys wanna make sure you get rid of it. So I'm just gonna delete it just like so. And this is the actual background to the overlay. So now if I want to, I can just put this on because I know it's now transparent, but having the fact that this is, you can see on a black background works pretty perfectly. So this is all good to go. Uh -huh. So sweet. So this is basically it, right? We're, we are inside After Effects and you're just kind of like figuring out, hey, I just want mine to be, maybe you want it to be nice and subtle. Maybe you want it to be super crazy, like rainbow, like RGB, razor, whatever. I don't know what you want. Um, I, don't, I thought RGB, I thought Razer. Maybe that's good branding or I'm just a fanboy. Anyway, uh, Razer sponsor me, please. It's been so long, dude. Just please. Um, seriously. <laughs> no, but okay. It's very, very simple. So essentially, all I'm going to be doing here is I'll do, let's just do the text first, right? Because essentially, we only have to do one um, part of it because essentially, we're just going to be copying and pasting it over. So I'm going to go effects. I'm going to go to hue and saturation so you see the color correction hue and saturation you can just type that right into your uh, effects and presets so i'm gonna take this drag it right onto the text and we're gonna get this thing going so essentially the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure i keyframe the uh change uh ch excuse me channel range just like so and i'm gonna press u on my keyboard that way when i press u on my keyboard on any layer that i have selected that i actually have keyframed it's going to basically show you guys exactly where the keyframe is and it's going to bring that layer and show you the layer and show you also the uh color range effect whatever you add a keyframe like if i keyframe anything else <laughs> is there anything else to keyframe no but if i keyframe anything else they'll also be here to, you'll be able to see it and it'll be very, very easy to work with right so i'm going to keyframe this at zero what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just move to about 30 frames which happens to be 30 seconds or half a uh, half a second, excuse me, half a second, 30 milliseconds, there we go. And I have my composition, by the way, settings wise, it is at seven seconds. Um, I would advise you guys to do about seven seconds or at least something above like three seconds or so, because if you're gonna have a, uh, a loop, you want it to be at least somewhat, a little bit longer, so it's not just so awkward. Even though if you do do it perfectly, it's still gonna be perfectly fine. But if you guys wanted more time for the effect to, I guess, be subtle, you would want to actually put your duration up, maybe even 30 seconds, and have it like a 15 second wave, just in case you're in a you're in a situation where your gameplay is, you know, not so action packed, maybe, and your overlay is just like consistently changing colors. It's definitely not a good thing. Just so you know. Um, so please be sure to you if you want to do something subtle make sure you put your duration up and your keyframes in the video here today make sure you spread them out very nice and evenly um i'm just going to be doing seven seconds for this uh, just for the sake of the video so i'm going to press okay right and i'm going to go ahead and just zoom this in for a second so i'm going to go to half a second which is 30 frames right here and i'm going to go ahead and just go over here my hue and saturation excuse me the master hue and i'm just going to literally move this to a spot where i think it would look pretty good so i may Maybe I want to go, so let's say this is zero, right? So I'm going to look at this. I want to, I like the nice little blue teal and whatnot, but I'm going to go ahead and go for is maybe I want to go ahead and switch it all the way through these colors and even go to yellow, right? So if I want to do this, make sure it's already keyframed. So essentially, if you've already clicked on this time frame, it's going to keyframe automatically. So if I go back, it'll be at zero, correct? You see how it's at, excuse me. You see how it's at zero. There we go. See how it's at zero. And I move this up. It'll now be at uh, 220 so basically it's gonna go from blue to like a darker blue to purple to pink to orange red and then like a yellow whatever whatnot right and it's gonna stop right there it's a nice cool little I guess you call it a rainbow um so what you need to make sure you do is you make sure you have the last keyframe right so I'm gonna go about 30 seconds again which is about one second <laughs> and we're gonna make sure we throw this at zero again so put that to zero and the reason why we do that is because looping remember we're gonna be looping it so if you're doing a live stream if you have your overlay on a live stream you want to make sure you actually uh, you actually have it looped that way it doesn't jump very awkwardly to blue yellow just jump to blue and then go through the colors and jump to blue you want to make sure it goes to blue you go to yellow and then it goes back to blue gradually and then essentially it's going to have that really cool effect that it's actually just looping and not just like jumping back you want to make sure you do that because that's something i saw when someone did the preview hey hey so so you can check this out and i saw it and he just didn't do what i said so please be, uh, please be sure to do that um so pretty much that's basically the whole color changing part though um essentially what i'm going to be doing as well is doing a glow but not just yet and i'm also not going to be doing the glow on top of the text anyway so i'm going to leave that for a little second later 
Um, but what I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and hover over these little keyframes here, and we're gonna right click on the keyframes and go to Easy Ease. Now, I wanna show you guys really quickly before I do the Easy Ease. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just show you, right? It's very simple stuff that's going on here. So if I just play it now, from the beginning, excuse me, play from the beginning. Right, you can see how the color just kind of goes very, very awkwardly fast. Um, it's not that big of a problem. However, if you want it to be more of like a really cool sort of like subtle, uh, I guess, motion to it, what I would essentially do is I would go ahead and, oops, stop that from playing. We're gonna go ahead and just go to this little graph here, right? The graph editor. Now, if your graph does not look like mine, yours might be at like value graph. Make sure you change yours to speed graph, right? So I'm gonna change the speed, uh, speed graph. I'm gonna highlight these keyframes. I'm gonna click here. And basically you see these yellows. If you guys remember my uh, my intro tutorial that I did for the whole, um, what is it called? Cinematic, what was it called? Uh, silhouette intro tutorial, right? So we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right little keyframe here. We're just gonna take this little point and move this over to the right just like so. So essentially it's gonna go very fast and it's gonna go slowly more into the color and it's gonna go very fast, slowly more into the color. So if I play this again, gotta render it really quick. You'll see it'll kind of like have a like a like a almost like a very quick succession, but a very smooth um, I guess motion to it. And if once I do this, hold on, let me do this really quick as well. I'm gonna go ahead and control C. I'm gonna highlight all these control C. I'm gonna go 30 seconds again and then control V. That way I can get a more longer uh, time frame what's going on here. So can you see how it's uh, jumping into that? Uh, I guess I would say like smoothly going into the very fast color. I mean, it's almost, I kind of want it to be almost opposite. I kind of almost want it to uh, go the opposite way. I kind of want it to do, no, I don't want this to be here. I want that to be right there. I want this to be more here maybe. So I'm gonna actually switch it. So I'm gonna want it to be slow, quick, slow, quick, rather than quick, slow, quick, slow. I do like that better. Now you can play with this, you can even have it as I had before, but I would definitely try to play with it. It's a little bit awkward because I'm going through a lot more colors than I did originally. I went through only two or three colors. I'm going through about four this time because I'm going um, different shades of blue actually. So we have one and then we have the purple and we have the uh, pink, red, and then the yellow. So I'm going through almost five colors, which I only did two in my preview, but Essentially, I would definitely tell you guys to play with the Easy Ease. Easy Ease is very, very common in the whole motion design community. You'll see it over and over and over again. It just has these really cool smoother transitions, and you'll see it a lot better when it comes to like, if I can quickly show you guys with like something like a like a like a shape layer. Can I just quickly go for it? By the way, I'm not anywhere near good at all. So this is me doing this right now off the books is totally a bad idea. If I'm just going for a one shot tutorial. Um, let's just change it to that. Let's go ahead and do this and let's go ahead and go to effects just so I can show you what it, it really does. Let's go to linear wipe, right? So I'm going to have a linear wipe. Let's go to zero frames per second, keyframe that, and let's go to like one second and then make it wipe, right? So if I just were to render this out, you see how very just like stagnant it is, right? But if I were to go to these keyframes, right, let's go ahead and press U. Hover over these, control and easy ease. We're going to this graph here, take this, move this so it's further towards the right hand side or left hand side. And let's go ahead and then play it again. You'll see how like crazy smooth it is. Right, you see how smooth that is? Now that's going quicker to faster, um, quicker to slower, excuse me, and this is gonna be going slower to quicker. Just so you can see what it does, right? So you see how like delayed it goes more delayed it has this really nice subtle it's very subtle but it's it's something you definitely would go for hopefully that made somewhat sense to what the colors are doing but i mean that's not my best example but i mean it hopefully if you guys understood that piece of it you're good to go but essentially once you're done with the whole color range and doing on one part you don't actually have to do it ever again because all you're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and click on the text that's where we did it originally we're going to click on hue and saturation under the effects we're going to go to control c and we're gonna go to each individual one, control V, <sighs> control V, and the background does not need to be changed because I don't wanna change that. So now you can see all of these things now are now changing colors very, very easily. It's almost, it's gonna be the exact same no matter what. It's gonna be nice and synced because we're just copying the keyframes. Now I should have copied it after I did all four, but it's okay, I'm just gonna leave it for the tutorial. But I, what I meant was I wanted to go all the way down to seven seconds because right now it's only at um, three seconds right now. <laughs> three seconds right now. 
uh yeah as you can see but you can see it's very very cool you see how like very just nice everything's just moving very nice and consistently um what i did do for the actual uh text though here i'm gonna go ahead and go to effect transition linear wipe we're gonna go to zero frames we're gonna leave it at zero frames and we're gonna keyframe the uh the wipe angle and the completion so we're gonna go ahead and just leave it at zero which is perfectly fine for three seconds or, or excuse me uh half a second in i want to put it on that marker we're going to go ahead and just put it on a transition of completion at a 100 so it's going to be, be basically going to get rid of it and we're going to go ahead and just see what that looks like right that looks pretty good just like so it's going to wipe it's still going to be also changing colors while it's wiped and we're also going to wipe it on an angle at 180 degrees so it's going to be pointing downwards so it's going to basically wipe just like so and right so essentially when we get back over here to about one second so another 30 second jump we're going to go ahead and bring this back to zero and take the wipe angle and put it on zero just like so so now you're gonna see it's gonna go like wipe and it's gonna come back just like so almost like a windshield wiper almost like whoop whoop so it's really cool what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly press u and i want these keyframes here and i would definitely do the easy ease stuff again let's go ahead and easy ease it come over here drag this make sure it's on the speed graph hover over these Put that forward a little bit so nice and more smoother transition then once you just do that copy these keyframes only these two keyframes here on the linear wipe control c jump to three uh, uh another 30 interval whatever i'm doing at 30 you can do at 45 you can do at one second i'm just doing about 30 half a second intervals control v it just like so so it measures up that way it does two uh basically two animations of it but essentially what i did do for mine was i had mine way further down the line and of course, these were also all duplicated over as well, all the way to seven seconds. But I, I, lay, I gave a little bit of space, a leeway space, so that it doesn't consistently just keep wiping my name away. I did it so it kind of like gives it a little bit of break, right? You know, it, maybe two half seconds or whatever go by, and the, change, uh, the name is still changing colors, and then it wipes again, right? So, I, oh, that's a way better, oh, no, that's probably because it's just rendering. Nope, you can definitely see how smooth it is now with the uh, the easy ease. That looks freaking beautiful. Um, So yeah, essentially that's about it with the colors. Now, essentially you guys wanna definitely do the glow as well, right? We're just gonna go to glow. We're gonna take the glow. We're gonna just literally just dab it on the top right circle. We're gonna go to the glow settings here. And we're gonna take our threshold. We're gonna put this to, I had some very specific settings. Let me just see what they were really quickly um 68 1.5 so let's go ahead and go back to ours and let's make sure we put that in 60 glow radius is at 8 and intensity was at 1.5 1.5 and we change our color a to one of the uh, this color right here let's go to this green right and then we'll change our color b let's go back no 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 it's not green it's not green you dummy it's gonna be blue for color A, and then orangey yellow, whatever for color B. So now, if I just zoom into the glow really quickly, right, you'll see the glow is also changing colors. Essentially, you don't have to change the color A to B as long as the glow, as you can see, is below the hue and saturation. That way, it's almost basically like Photoshop. If I have this above this, you'll see it. It kind of just changes. It won't change the colors with it. It'll just stay uh, white. Um, but yeah, just simply, you can see how the glow is actually still you know, the same as that colors. Of course, it's going to be white here, though, because that's just kind of what the color is right there. But the glow looks pretty dang good. Now, I'm not going to put it on the text like I said before, because it kind of looks a little bit too much. But if I just control C, I, let me see what it looks like again. And it's a little bit too much, but I will just leave it on there for now. But Control C, Control V, we'll do it on the light, on the right light first. So you can see what the difference looks like. It looks really, really good. Left light, and I wouldn't do it on the background because that's just way, way too much. So just leave that as so. And now you have a glow and the hue change preview, just like this. Yeah, it looks way too much on the text here, but as you can see, the glow just gives it a really cool, almost like a, uh, how would you say? Uh, almost like a a weird fade into the color almost like a gradient fade you can see it almost looks like more of a gradient rather than just you know colors just changing as a solid but it looks really 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 good and essentially that's about it when it comes to the whole entire animation part with the overlay now we're just jumping into the whole part where we did the whole saber thing so really quickly i'm just gonna do this really really quick because i already had an entire video on this but we're not gonna use a shape layer we're gonna be using a new solid 
Mm-hmm. New solid doesn't matter what the color is. We're gonna go ahead and go to effects. Video Copilot Saber. And we're gonna go ahead and go to we're gonna put it on mode add. Let's see. Add. Right? And we're gonna throw this, one of these marks right here, the other one over here. Let's go ahead and zoom this in. Right? Put those right about where I want them. That is right about where I want them. Let's go ahead and just change some of these settings really quickly. I'm going to be changing this to one and I'm going to be changing this to energize. I'm going to be changing the uh, color to blue. Actually, I'm going to be, it doesn't even matter. I'm going to change the color too because I'm going to do the hue saturation. So glow color can be the original color, but the one I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly go to here and then go to the hue and saturation, control C. Control V that over here as well. So that way when it's changing over here, the colors are also changing exactly with the uh, other colors as well. So that does look pretty good. Now the glow is just a little bit too much. What I believe I had on my other setting, let me just see what I got before I mess it up for you guys who are trying to do it as well. My settings for the glow about 22.1, um, 0.5 and then one. So 22 for the glow intensity, 0.1 for the spread, 0.5 for the glow and then one for the core size and that gave me a really cool look and I also believe I had alpha mode on what was it on oh no mm, I feel like I was on something different no we'll just leave it disabled for now but we'll leave it that off mode on disabled what, oh it wasn't gonna go to render settings oh because you want to make sure it's transparent because when you have a solid no matter what if you don't have your a solid is basically a solid right it's gonna be a solid color so essentially what i have here is my my background is no longer transparent so what i have to do is in saber settings go to render settings here go to composite settings and change it to transparent that when i click over here you'll see that it's actually now transparent again so that's what i'm trying to figure out because I was, I was trying to figure out where was my problem there i knew there was something i was supposed to do but make sure i'm keeping it transparent because that's the whole entire point of having a uh, overlay is to make sure it's transparent over your your gameplay so essentially now all we got to do i'm just going to quickly put this back on so i can see what i'm looking at yeah actually it looks really good it looks pretty dang good okay so yeah, essentially all I gotta do now is go to composite, uh, compo composition, I'm an idiot. Uh, go to render queue. And the only thing I'm gonna tell you guys to do for your settings wise, everything else is gonna be up to you when it comes to your render settings. I don't know the best, best render settings, but I'm leaving, I'm leaving everything as, as it is besides channels, change it to RGB plus alpha. That way it's transparent once you press okay. And then you can just go ahead and render it and you're all good to go. Okay. so. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. It was not that long whatsoever. However, it's super hot and I'm super like, I'm, I feel like I'm getting sick. Like it's not good. Um, but yeah, I just, I just, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys really wanted it. You guys really, really wanted it. I know that for a fact. Um, I see you guys tweeting at me and leaving the um, comment sections. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So anything you guys to see me do, hopefully maybe the lower third things, um, I can definitely probably do that. That'll probably be just something about like making it look like you know hey subscribe here or something like that for your youtube channel i don't know but i'm having a lot of fun in after effects but i think i'm going to do a little bit of a more logo intros or excuse me logo revealing intros or logo like animations i don't know i want to do something and i want it to be really cool and really fun and hope you guys enjoy it no matter what and hopefully i will see you guys next week if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe if you guys haven't left a like two likes on the video because you see it down below which will mostly be the project file of today's video and uh follow me on twitter at switch q and also check out my self i self i.com slash this way for any pre-mades and packs those five bucks and i will talk to you guys next week as i go to bed because i am just so not into it right now um but yeah much love. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. So switch you out. Don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay free from Dr. Guys.